five different types of e-trikes and which one is right for you. Stick around. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry, and today I'm gonna to show you five different types of e-trikes and hopefully explain to you which one is right for you. Now, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we do, and of course, new product releases. All right, if you are in the market for an electric tricycle and you're looking for something can get you around town, um, possibly commuting to the store, or you just like casual rides around the neighborhood, I've got five different electric trikes here for you, and I'm gonna walk you through each, each trike and explain to you which, uh, what is each one is really, really good for. Now, let's go ahead and start on the end here with our smooth glide recumbent electric tricycle. Now, one of the newest uh, e-trikes in the 630 lineup. This is an amazing e-trike for multiple use cases, hands down one of the most comfortable electric trikes you're ever gonna find. You've obviously got this uh, office chair-like seat with a high backrest. Now I put a uh, back support pillow on here as well to add some comfort. This is a 500 watt front hub motor with a 15 amp hour battery. So you can get up to speeds of 16 miles an hour and you can also get a range of up to 50 miles depending on the combination that you use of the pedal assist or the throttle. Now it's a twist throttle here. So the really cool thing about this trike is this also can double as your mobility device. So you would put your power on right here and you have your throttle right here. So you twist that. Now, also you can see I'm very comfortable. You can also slide the seat back for taller riders, like so, or slide it forward like that, like I had it. Now that's actually a little too cramped for me. So I'm gonna bring it back just a touch, right about there. Perfect. Get my back pillow, oh yeah. Now, um, up here, the really cool thing is this is very adjustable. So no tools necessary, and you can adjust these handlebars in and out, back and up. I like them like really low, there we go, and close to my body like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this down. Oops, a little too high there, let's bring them. There's a little lever there. Okay, right there is where I like it. Perfect. Now you've got the front and rear disc brakes here as well. The handlebars do fold down. Um, if you want to transport it and reduce the height a little bit. Now you do have the back seat on here, um, which is going to make it challenging uh, to fit inside a car. Um, but a big SUV or a pickup truck, you could definitely transport it. Or if you got a rear uh, hitch rack, that's an option as well. So this is a recumbent, you're pedaling forward, you're sitting down. Now the other cool thing about this trike is really easy to get on and off because of how high the seat is. Twist your body like this, stand up. You've got your parking brakes here too, you can engage, uh, which make it easy to get on and off so it doesn't roll away. Now your battery power is down here turn that on. We've done some other videos actually. This is a great trike if you're looking for something as your mobility device, but you still wanna get, um, you still wanna be able to pedal and get exercise. Um, also, if you want something that is easy on your body and relaxed and comfortable, this is the answer. So I turn my power on right here and I'm gonna do a little, just a little loop around here riding. So, like I said, you can either pedal, I gotta disengage my brakes, so I can twist my throttle here. Oh, there we go, like so. Now the cool thing about this for mobility purposes is it actually has a reverse. 
So if you want this to double as something you can use to get around with, but also get exercise, it's a great option. And now I can pedal like so. And my pedal assist kicks in. Just loop around back here. Now, if you want to see other videos of me riding this, you can also um, check that out on our channel. I'll just go ahead and do a little jaunt down here. There we go. If you're looking for absolutely the most comfortable e-bike, e-trike, hands down, this has got to be it. Also, the stability of this, because of the length of the frame, it's got a very long frame, keeps it very stable in the back, which I know is a big concern. So if you have a fear of tipping, this one and possibly uh, the fat tire are gonna be two of your best options. But this one has the geometry where you really don't have to worry about tipping at all. You can see right there, my wheels never budge off the ground. So uh, it's a lot of fun, easy to ride. I've got videos of me taking on hills with this, navigating handicap ramps with it to show you the versatility of the steering, um, and also how you can really use this throttle uh, to navigate in and out of tight spaces easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and just park this back in the front here, and we'll move on to our next trike. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how I can use my reverse. All right, pull up right here. Okay. Perfect. And from here, I'll engage my parking brake and turn my motor off. And there we go. All right. So really a good all-purpose trike. If you're looking for maximum comfort or something also can double as your mobility scooter, this is great. If you wanna go off-road or trails, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you're going to go on very hard pack trails. All right, moving on to our reverse e-trike. Now this is something, if you are looking for a sporty, trike that has nimble steering and steers like a two-wheel bike this is the answer this is really cool and a lot of fun now the difference is is you do have to steer because it's got tilt on the two front wheels the rider does have to steer and keep the handlebar straight now you can see it does stay balanced without the kickstand but if you tip it it does want to fall over so um, something to keep in mind. Now, this is a 750 watt rear hub motor, so really powerful, 10.4 amp hour battery, so you can get up to 50 miles on a single charge, and also you can hit 16 miles an hour. Got a seven speed derailleur here, so you can pedal it without the motor, um, and you've got those seven speeds, seven options, seven gear options for going up hills, which is a nice feature. You've got front and rear disc brakes and, um, and a rear rack as well. Now this also folds, so you can fold it. That frame folds in half, the handlebars go down and fold. And if you wanna check this out on our website, we have a video of me folding it and actually putting it in the back of a car. So if you wanna see more specifics on that. So this is really designed for the rider that wants three wheels, wants the added balance, but wants something sporty uh, that turns and feels like a two-wheel bike. So you're gonna power on up here, and I'll do a quick demonstration. And again, I've got lots of other videos that you can take a look. All right, now the handlebars aren't exactly where I like them, but that's okay. All right, so got my throttle here and pedal assist. And again, I'm not wearing my helmet just because I'm just in a confined space here. But you can see, you can really make tight turns. And again, this steers a lot like a three wheel, or sorry, like a two wheel bike. 
And if I want to turn the motor off completely, I can do that. And now I can just pedal. Rides real easy. I'm in seventh here. Let's go ahead and shift down. There we go. Now I can put my throttle back on. You can see how sharp of a turn I can make there. So again, this is really for the sporty three-wheel rider. And it's a little bit different. You know, it rides a little different. You got to get used to the two front wheels. You really got to start to trust it. Um, and then once you get the hang of it, it becomes a lot of fun. It's very zippy. And again, if you need that added balance, but you want something that feels like a two wheel bike and runs sporty, this is it. All right, now moving on to our easy transit folding e-trike. Now this is also a 750 watt. Now this is more of a conventional three-wheel e-trike. Now this has got 16-inch uh, wheels. So very low center of gravity, easy to mount and dismount. This fits riders 411 up to six foot five because we've got this double adjustable seat post here. This is also foldable, so you can fold it up, put it in the back of a car. You've got these front and rear baskets, which are really nice. Now the other cool thing on this one is you also have the reverse function on this one. So same thing, you can hit the reverse. So this is sort of a little bit like the uh, simple glide, but it's more of an upright ride, but it's got the features of still being able to be a mobility device, but it's got the power to get you around town. 750 watt motor, you can get up hills with this, you can get up to 16 miles an hour. You also have a seven speed derailleur. So if you're looking for something compact, small, but still powerful that you can ride around town on, this is a great, great option. And you can see videos I've made on this one where I'm riding all over the town on it as well. Um, and again, you have the throttle. So let's do a quick demonstration here. And this one's really nimble and balanced as well. Again, the low, the small wheels actually keep a nice low center of gravity and it makes it easy for turning. You can see how easily I get in and out of the cones here. And then I pedal assist kicks on. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Got a little hill there. So there we go. So this is for somebody that wants a, oop, breaks her powerful. <laughs> um, for somebody that wants a traditional trike but wants to be able to get on and off of it easily, it's got adjustable, uh, double seat post adjustable there. You've got this rear basket which is nice. You can open and close that, put stuff in there. You've got your front basket as well. Um, and you've got your thumb throttle and your pedal assist also. So a good mobility device also can be in around town. You can also pedal without the motor. It's a lot of fun, it's really zippy. Um, good way to commute and get groceries and things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and park this one back here. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can parallel park for the sake of the video here. All right. First time attempting parallel parking, parking a tricycle. Oops. This is gonna be challenging, but I think I can do it. Flip that back to drive. All right, back to reverse. Well, it's gonna be, oh, you know why? Well, I don't think I left myself big enough space. <laughs> But that's all right. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't. That's okay. Almost did it. All right. Turn that off. Put my parking brake on. 
All right, now the Every Journey 250 watts. So now this is a smaller motor. This is really a good cruising trike. Maybe you're coming from a traditional trike, but you've decided you need a little bit of assistance. The Every Journey is awesome for that. Also really comfortable upright riding position. Now the seat's not properly adjusted for me, but you can have your back upright, really comfortable with the bars coming into your body, low step through frame. The other cool thing is all the accessories that are available. This bag that fits in the basket, you can get matching bags for the frame. Now this is a 250 watt front hub motor. So it's smaller mode than some, other, some of the other ones, which is why it's good for cruising. Also, if you don't wanna be overpowered by the acceleration, a 250 is a great option. So if you're gonna be doing mostly flat ground riding, longer distances, and let's say that you like to keep pedal assist in lower levels and still get exercise, or if you wanna pedal without the motor, this is a great option, because you've got the 26 inch wheels. It's gonna roll smooth, roll easy. You can cover a lot of ground. It's a great upgrade from a traditional trike to give you that assistance. You've got a basket in the back. So if you wanna ride around a community um, or by the beach um, or commuting as well, it's a really great option for that. I've said that a few times, but it's just fun. It's easy. You can accessorize it. And again, not too powerful, but powerful enough to give you that assistance and just make your rides that much easier. So. Like I said, if you're finding that it's becoming too challenging on a traditional trike, but you like the look of that in the setup, this is a nice upgrade to give you some assistance, but not scare you and become too overpowering. So 250 watt front hub motor, you can get to 15 miles an hour top speed actually, and you can still get up to 50 miles of range to 10.4 amp hour battery. So it's a lot of fun. And the throttle alone will still get you up to 15 miles an hour as well. So. Really, really fun, uh, cool option. Comes in four different colors as well. And you can see all those on our website. All right, now last but not least is our fat tire rickshaw. Now we also have another fat tire option and fat tires are great for many reasons. So these are four inch tires. So very balanced, a lot of rubber hitting the road. Also 20 inch fat tires in the back and 24 in the front. So it's set lower in the rear, creates a better uh, center of gravity lower to the ground. Now the cool thing is, is you can also take the seat off and replace it with a basket if you wanna do that. This has a 21 amp hour battery and a 750 watt front hub motor. So this is very, very powerful. You can get up to speeds uh, of 16, 17 miles an hour in pedal assist or throttle. And if you want something that's beefier, you feel like you want the fat tires to stay balanced, a fat tire e-trike is a good option like the rickshaw or our simple step through fat tire as well. Now the cool thing too is that you can carry passengers on the back here. It's comfortable. We've got lots of videos showing us bringing two adults on the back, also up to three children on the back but it's still compact and easy to ride. This is really, really a lot of fun. And we've got a seatbelt back here. You can install this optional harness as well, a three-point harness. If you have kids that you wanna buckle in, that's a great option as well. Very comfortable riding position. You have the thumb throttle up here. Um, so if you don't wanna pedal at all, you don't have to. And like I said, 21 amp hour battery. So you're still gonna get that up to 50 mile of range because you're gonna have a heavier uh, bike, you're gonna drain the battery quicker, which is why it's good to have that larger battery on there. So big fat tires, very balanced, very stable, a lot of fun. If you wanna carry passengers um, or if you wanna do trail riding, off-road riding, something like this is your best bet because of these big tires, these big wide tires it's gonna obviously take on trails and off-roading a lot easier. Now, if you wanna see any more specifics on any one of these trikes, check out our YouTube channel. Also, you can check the links below in the description. We'll take you to the website, give you more details, more videos, so you can look up everything about each one of them. If you have any other questions, comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877.
also, we have a 30-day test drive your e-trike policy. If you don't love your e-trike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we warranty everything for the first year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we take care of it, parts and labor. Now, lastly, two great ways to be a part of our community. You can join our Facebook group or download our app. Our Facebook group has thousands of members in it. You can connect with existing riders before you purchase. Then when you have your e-trike, post in the group, make friends, it's a lot of fun. And then use the app to track your rides and compete on the leaderboard. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.